remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Jennifer Lopez, a.k.a. J-Lo, is gearing up for a halftime Super Bowl performance today, and she's feeling herself. So much so that she posted a photo on Twitter with the hashtag Bronx Girl Magic. Now, some of y'all are going like, man, y'all find anything to trip on. Y'all triggered about everything. Well, easy for you to say. Perhaps you're not used to your ideas being stolen. Black women, black people have had their ideas misappropriated, straight up jacked, stolen for centuries. And I don't see a problem with black women wanting to protect that hashtag and say, no, this is our thing. This kind of reminds me of Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter. See, the All Lives Matter was a counter to Black Lives Matter. Had it not been a Black Lives Matter, there would have not been a need for them to feel like they had to do an All Lives Matter. So that was started by people who were antagonizing black people, people who was just flat up racist, who just wanted to oppose. So this Black Lives Matter was, to, was a symbol of marginalization. So imagine any marginalized group having a hashtag and then somebody spinning off of that, basically remixing it and then claiming it as their own. Perhaps she posted the hashtag to counter black girl magic. But there is a little bitty bit of benefit of doubt that can be attributed here. Black girl magic is specific to black females. Bronx girl magic could include any female who lives in the Bronx or who is from the Bronx, right? So that's a little, little wiggle room right there. But I would just say, leave it alone. You know, it's like that old saying, I'm an artist. And I'm sensitive about my shit. Black women. I'm a black woman. And I'm sensitive about my shit. That's how Jennifer Lopez should have approached that situation. How will the people who I'm jacking take this? People need to be considerate of that. It's really not about how I feel. I'm not a black woman. So it's not about how I feel about it. And it's not about how any other person who is not black, a black female, feel about it. It is how black females feel about it. That's what counts. It's just like this whole thing with the Kansas City Chiefs. Using that name, Chiefs. And the Indians, the Native Americans are pissed off about that. They want them to retire that name. They want them to get rid of it. They believe that it is offensive. It's not about how the Kansas City Chiefs fans feel about it, how the ownership feel about it. It's about the people who it affects the most, and that are that is the Native Americans. They got a gripe and they have, their feelings should be considered. Jennifer Lopez should have thought this thing out a little bit more. Y'all know, and this is not about being, uh, this is not by, about being in a PC society. This is about 
protecting what's yours. That's what this is about. This ain't got nothing to do with being politically correct. This is about protecting what's yours. Somebody said, well, you can't own a hashtag. Man, you can. You can't. You can jack one. And I don't understand anyway, why don't people just come up with their own stuff? Like, I've always been an, uh, an original. Like, I, I come up with my own little slangs. I come up with my own little sayings. It, they even got people out here today that, that straight up jack artist names. I had a fool out there trying to use my name. You had a fool out there trying to use Dr. Dre name. And I'm not talking about the old Dr. Dre that used to be on MTV. I'm talking about you got a youngster out there trying to use the Dr. Dre name. Like, damn, even in movies, everything is remixed. Everything is a remake. Come up with your own shit. What's wrong? What happened to the creatives? It wouldn't have been that hard for her to come up with a cooler hashtag. I mean, she's Jenny from the block. You know, people are going to take notice anyway. She could have avoided that, so she did that to herself. Therefore, I feel nothing. But what say you? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Damn.